I might say that in the very beginning, I congratulated the president for the passage of the new voting bill, knowing that he had worked so passionately and unrelentingly uh, for this bill and made it very clear to him uh, that this would uh, be a great step forward in removing all of the remaining obstacles to the right to vote. When a person tells you, go vote, they try to tell you to vote for the thing they voting for. When I tell you to go vote, I'm asking you to be an informed voter, yeah? Because we, we got a bunch of folks out here, they go and punch ballots, and they have no idea what they punching. They say, man, I voted yes for Proposition 5. They say, what's Proposition 5? I don't know. The greatest American alive. <laughs> hey, I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. Man, I, I don't vote. It might matter on a local level, I guess, but I'm trying to change the bigger picture. And to change the bigger picture, you got to talk to the bigger people. And the bigger people, was, they are already fixed in. I mean, personally, I don't, I don't vote. I don't. Lots of us is disconnected from that conversation because they're talking way over our heads. The things that the Democratic Party, they don't pertain to me. Honestly, when it comes to the Republican Party, when I hear family, I mean, you got my attention. When I hear I'm pro-life, you got my attention. I'm a human. Now that will sway people. Into, I, be into, I believe in humanity, baby. Right. You would think, okay, Republican. Republicans, now you're watching the actions of how people do. But honestly, man, that shit is all tied in too. But if I was, I would go Republican. Because just like the things Holy. you Holy. You know what I mean? A black man said he's going to vote Republican. Better not do I that. Ain't, no, no, no. You better I, not do that. I ain't say I was going to vote because I don't vote. But I said- <laughs> You said, I said hypothetically- Hypothetically, don't run from it, stand in the pocket, man. Right. Shit. Hey, black I, conservatives, nigga. Bam, bam. It's all good. <laughs> but yeah, man, I understand. Why do we have to put a name on the shit? Oh, this is Republican. This is what they stand for. It should just be you. Uh, I have some uh, Democratic Party ideology. I have some conservative ideology. I am a hodgepodge, nigga. I am a hypocrite. Uh -huh. When I say that, because you're going to take it out of context. I am an I am an amalgamation of many ideas, man. Everything that works in your life, it don't work for me. Explain the Democratic. When it comes to having a social safety net, I understand. When people have economic hard times, I understand. The way that they're trying to solve problems, Congress people don't know poor people. Because if they knew poor people, they would, they would pass different laws. Every human person on the planet needs shelter. When you read the Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, it says uh, shelter, food, Water. Water and clothing, I believe. The basic needs for life. You need a place to stay. Yeah. And homelessness is destroying America right now. And there's no system in place to help the American person become a homeowner. And that's crazy. All this land. I mean, building projects doesn't create community. It creates dependent people. Hey! Now, now you're dependent on the government. The exact same money that you're spending to subsidize a project building is the exact same money that you can spend to subsidize a person becoming a homeowner. Like, we have to have actual conversations to push legislation that, that changes the American person's life. I think we're all centrist. Like, if we get down to just to the basic fundamentals, hey, you don't need no law to have sex, okay? Like, tell the truth, right? I don't need no law to tell me who I can go sleep with, okay? And, and why do I need a marriage license? You and don't. I, and if I need a marriage license, can I get that renewed? Well, no, nah, I mean, everything else get renewed. You got the car, you know, license, you, you got to get renew that. Gun license, renew that. Why not marriage license? Boy, you gonna put some, you gonna put some people on notice, yeah. Uh -oh. Hey, if you don't behave <laughs> next year, you might not get renewed. <laughs> For real. Well, this ahead. marriage license expires, baby. Oh man, that might save a lot of people, man. Hey, hey you know, it might hold some folks accountable. You you I say I do earlier. and think I got you forever. forever you say I got you, bitch. No, not in twenty twenty six. Yeah, yeah, we coming up for renewal. <laughs> right, right. Like, so, okay, okay, yeah. Hmm, what did he get me for Christmas? There you go. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> behave, so behave yourself. We just need to do better. As a nation, we are a symbiotic experience. As a nation? You talk yeah. about in America? Because yes. America comprised of different nations. We are all interdependent on each other for on this geographic location. Every every uh, that, every that was, every that everything everything that. that you do affects me. Yeah. And everything that a person does in New York, it also affects me. The way that they operate in their economy, their politics, their ideology directly impacts Texas. It, do it directly impacts day, Texas day by day because honestly somebody in California don't directly infect me on what I'm doing without the illegal immigrant who's picking the vegetables in California California produces some large percentage of our vegetables and so if they don't go pick those vegetables you don't get vegetables on your plate if the truck driver don't show up to work to move those vegetables from the immigrant farmer you don't get vegetables on your plate they make almonds if they don't make those almonds you don't get no almonds mm. Good. I don't eat almonds. I don't eat vegetables. 
like not even. I'm just saying, man. Like that. That's the thing. That's how we work. Me contributing to my to my community contributes to my city, contributes to my state, and so on and so forth. Man, we're all interconnected. And as soon as we accept that and understand that, then I want you to have a home. I want you to have a place to stay. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm excited because I think that I'm building one of the most important conversations in America. That Americans need homes. Uh, the problems of the North are growing every day. And I think in those communities, there will be an increase of demonstrations in order to call attention to the problems in housing, uh, jobs, and in the schools. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.